What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people be asking me about Lil Dirk. That's one of the main questions I'm asked about a lot. Uh, Chief Keith, too. You know, like I tell you, people know I'm a real drill historian. So they be asking me these questions. And I see the news trending right now about Lil Dirk saying he not going to uh, no longer diss dead people in his music. He's not going to perform music that he done done and have dead people in it. And shit... That's a lot of his catalog, to be honest with you. But I want to be truthful with you. I see a lot of people saying he done said this before, and he has said this before, uh, and things like that. But I want to be honest with you, in my opinion. Uh, King Von lost his life through the gun violence, okay? Um, his brother lost his life through the gun violence. Some people came in Lil Dirk crib when he was in there with India. They were laying in the bed. They woke up fast something in the morning, heard footsteps in there, and they had to get to blicking. Don't matter how the media portray that shit. I'm pretty sure that was a horrendous day in that young lady life, you know. She ain't a gang member. She ain't a killer. She ain't sliding. That shit probably scared her senseless, you know. And um, they got kids. These kids could have been in there. Who knows what was going on? In my opinion, all those were steps back. I think what Dirk said today was a step forward, in my opinion. I believe him, too, to be honest with you, because this guy really never needed to do that anyway, to be honest with you. I understand what he did in the beginning, but Dirk didn't got to a level that's like unbelievable when you think about songs like homebody you think of songs like nobody knows you think of songs like make it out you think of some of his biggest biggest songs to really chart he not really dissing the ops in those songs you know what i'm saying so it was really no need for him to do that anymore i told people drake saved this man life we already knew that dirk was one of the hottest rappers in the world we've been bumping his shit you know what i'm saying this ain't what you want we was bumping this shit from there you know uh but when Dirk single-handedly picked him up and set him in the big boy lane by doing that song with him, I think Dirk should have realized he has no business doing this type of shit anyway. He's just too huge. I don't see artists like Drake or, you know, shit like that dissing people in the neighborhoods where they grew up at. They might be involved in a rap battle, but not that kind of battle, you know? And then it's all kind of people dying, all kind of lives being took. We just seen what happened to E-Day. We just seen what happened to 069 Kevo. We just seeing people steady losing their lives. The Rico is out here. Nobody want to get caught up in one of those conspiracies. Nobody want to get caught up in none of that shit. We seen what happened in 6 9 They'll do this shit to you. It's a lot of rumors about murders and shootings and killings and all kind of shit. And there's no reason for a guy who's making that type of money to want to be affiliated with that kind of shit. They'll link you in that shit and say you funding that. You know, I'm pretty sure the feds can talk to Lil Dirk plenty of times. Whether people want to bleed with this or not, you know. This guy named him and linked in a lot of crap. And I'm pretty sure shit he haven't told you about because don't want to ruin his image and shit like that, you know. Uh, I think Dirk realized he way, way too big for this. I never understood why a guy who's at this point in his motherfucking career where well, he can probably get a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand a night to want to perform, to want to be on some hood shit. I never understood that, but. Like I say, it's a lot of trauma in the hood, too, now. You got to understand, it's a lot of trauma. A lot of people have lost their lives. The revenge is real, real strong. So, you know, sometimes you got to be from the street to understand the street. You know, it don't matter how many times you watch the documentaries or read the books. If you ain't from the street, it ain't going to work. You feel me? And that's just how I feel about that. But in my opinion, I think this is a step forward. I think it's growth. I think he realized that, you know, he got an opportunity that... Only like 5% on earth is ever going to have. Why get that opportunity and still move around like this? I never understood that. There's too many people dying in the hood from these wars. This gang shit that's in the street. And a lot of that shit coming from his music. Now, I'm not putting that on him because it's a lot more other people's music. You know what I'm saying? So it's the culture. So we can't just single out one person. He just got the fame. So people talking about him. But, you know, people dying. They losing their life. You know, the killings is up at an all-time high. The last thing we got to do is be laughing about the songs, laughing about the shit in songs, dissing dead people in songs and shit. It didn't got to a point where it's out of control. Um, but, you know, I think Dirk is going to set the trend. Do that mean everybody going to follow along with it? I don't know about that. But you know what? I think this is a move in the right direction, you know. Um, hopefully everybody follow it, but you know, it's a lot of skepticism out here, if that's the word. But I appreciate the love. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Blit, 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 blit.
Get off my camera.